I was asked a question recently that I feel needs to be shared with many, as this is something many Christians wrestle with today. It has to do with what Paul says to Timothy one day regarding the food that Christians eat. When speaking of a widespread mindset that we're going to be seeing in the last days, Paul says this in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verses 3 to 5. He says that some will be forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meats, which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused, if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. Many like to use this passage to claim it's okay to eat what the Bible defines as unclean foods because Paul said it would be received with thanksgiving. But notice right off that Paul mentions only them which believe and know the truth are going to understand this. In other words, the obedient Christians that trust their Bible will easily understand truth like this when it comes to them you know, for the first time. And what I mean is the Holy Spirit moves such souls into complete agreement quite easily because it is written by the God that they love. But the point Paul makes here that has to do with the meat which God hath created to be received with thanksgiving is where many get confused. Biblical fact here is that God's obedient people would never give thanks for something he never gave them. Science has proven that the pig, the shellfish, the oysters, or any other unclean meat is dangerous to the human body, and so it's clear the Lord specifically said we must not eat it for a reason. In fact, he actually outlines in detail which animals can and cannot be eaten in Leviticus 11 and Deuteronomy 14. As a matter of fact, I got a page on the website all about that. And so how can anyone give thanks for a meal that has meat in it that the Lord never said to eat in the first place? I mean, you simply cannot say thank you for something never given to you. As for what sparks the statement wherein Paul touches on some who, who are going to be forbidding to marry and commanding others to abstain from meats that the Lord said was okay to eat, I know of only one church on planet Earth that actually does that. It's the Roman Catholic Church. They forbid their priests to marry, and during their pagan festival of Lent, they forbid all Catholics to eat even clean meat on Fridays. Now, yes, I'm fully aware that many of you that subscribe to my blog or my YouTube page are vegan, just as I am, because many of us have heard the call to ready ourselves for the Edenic diet in heaven, wherein no animals are going to be eaten, and so we don't even eat of the clean animals anymore. However, according to biblical jurisprudence, it is still considered acceptable for mankind to do so since the Lord allowed it in Noah's day, but in today's world, with all the drugs that they're pumping into those clean and unclean animals and the fact they even refuse to remove the blood from the animals before selling their meat. I mean, eating such things is why so many die of disease today. In fact, you know, the drugs are bad enough, but eating the clean animals with blood still in them is literally against the will of God. For he plainly stated in Deuteronomy 15, 23, thou shalt not eat the blood thereof. Thou shalt pour it upon the ground as water. And for those wondering, yes, this is doctrinally valid in New Testament times because the human body is still subject to the same diseases as it was subject to thousands of years ago. In fact, three years after the cross of Christ, when Peter was in vision, he misunderstood what the vision meant at first. And he literally thought the Lord was telling him it was okay to eat unclean animals. I mean, it's right there in Acts where Peter literally says, after the Lord tells him to kill and eat, he says, not so, Lord. For nothing common or unclean at any time entered into my mouth. And if you read on and hear what Peter says the vision really meant when he gets understanding, you see it had absolutely nothing at all to do with eating unclean foods. Thank you for watching. God bless.